if you don't know how to, if you, you know you're going to get a motion to dismiss, if you don't know how to respond to a motion to dismiss, you shouldn't be filing the, the litigation. I mean, mm-hmm. I'm sorry, you just shouldn't. At least you should be co-counseling with somebody who's willing to fight. Yeah. You know, willing to go to the mat for that. Um, we're also, you know, one of the other things in litigation that we're not doing enough of, um, if we survive the motion to dismiss, we're not making, we're not forcing discovery on them. Yeah. Because forcing discovery is really a way to get them to settle. And we saw this in the EB-5 litigation we did out, we did out in the, the Northern District of California. Uh, we had a magistrate assigned to our EB-5 case and they they filed their standard motion to dismiss and uh, we filed a motion to dis- a response and we filed for discovery and there's a rule 56d motion we said judge we can't respond to this without discovery we've pled this and so she she agreed so nice. we got discovery as soon as we got that discovery they settled <laughs> this discovery showed what we said was true they're taking cases yes. out of order so the more we can force them into depositions or requests for production of documents or uh, admissions and concession. You do that, you're going to get your case done quickly. It's a win-win because not only will you win the case, but every time we get a little bit of discovery, we discovered how much of a insanity it is in the system. It's just well, and then uh, we're doing now in ALO what uh, what the U.S. attorneys and and oil attorneys have done for years. We're sharing that information. Mm-hmm. So now you know we put it in the database on the ALO website. People have access to. Oh, wait a second, I can use that in my lawsuit. So I mean, Jesse Bless, for example, was just doing oral argument when I won that case and I got the discovery. I sent it to Jesse. They supplemented their case. Now, they still lost at the D.C. Circuit, and the D.C. Circuit ignored the evidence. But he now has that evidence to go back to district court, refile the case, mm-hmm. and say, look, we were right. Here's the discovery. We want more discovery yeah. in the case. Um, so you know, the litigation stuff is fun right now. Uh, it's And I'm working as a team with in our impact litigation stuff with Aaron Hall and Greg Siskin is just brilliant. Jesse Hall is an amazing litigator. Uh, Jesse Bless is an amazing litigator. And that's, that's been a lot of fun in addition to the regular practice that I do, mm-hmm. which is a lot of six and one, a waivers, family-based adjustments, parole in place, lots of H's, lots of perms, some EB five, lots of L's, lots of E's. So it's just, I speak Spanish fluently. So I do a lot of Latin American work mm-hmm. and it's just, it's just fun. <laughs> 